It's likely an important time in your child's life, a turning point in their future. The STAR standardized test. But many parents and teachers say the stakes are too high with these end of course exams, so last legislative session lawmakers worked to lighten the load. This year they cut the number of high school end of course exams needed to graduate from 15 down to 5. But nearly a fifth of Texas students still failed at least one of those tests. We took a closer look at the scores and made sure the lawmakers on those important education committees have the evidence they need to reevaluate the system ahead of next year's session. One of our findings, a massive number of students retaking the test right now during the summer. KXAN's education reporter Aaron Cargyle has more. If students want to make it here, there's one thing they must master. So now we're going to work on this one together. In Round Rock, students still trying to pass the STAR exam are stuck in summer school. You know, obviously it, it probably feels a bit defeating. Teachers only have 12 days to change their perspective. And we need to develop that can-do attitude and uh, their self-esteem. And get them ready for another round. These fifth graders have already failed the reading star test twice. Passing it along with the math test is a must to move on to middle school. Before these summer sessions, the testing company sends teachers detailed reports on which skills gave each student the most trouble. You're correct. With They're just 10 students per class, teachers can give them more attention and design lessons to meet their needs. We, we generally do see improvement from every child. But for the majority, it's not enough. History is shown here in Round Rock on the third try, only a third pass. This year, statewide in fifth grade. 24% of students failed the reading test. 21% failed the math. Eighth grade is the next time a student must pass both the math and reading test to move on to the next grade. 21% failed math and 18% failed reading. Good morning. Deborah Hines' son was one of them. We met her dropping him off at Austin ISD's Burnett Middle School on retest day. So we just see how it goes and we just pray. As an ex-school teacher, she believes some kids just aren't good test takers. You have to have something, I know that, but to be, make it to a point where we keep a child back, especially if their grades are passing, then something's wrong. Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News. Now, if Deborah's son does not pass, his teachers and the principal will meet to decide if he should go on to the ninth grade or be held back. That is the process for every student who fails three times. Once students are in high school, they still have to pass five end-of-course exams or they will not get a diploma. Next month, state lawmakers, the same ones who put the testing rules into place, will meet at the state capitol to weigh the latest star results and consider possible legislation to improve the testing system. KXAN will be at that meeting and will stay on top of this story for you. And ahead of that, we reached out to the chairs of the House and Senate Education Committees. State Representative Jimmy Don Acock says he's concerned thousands of high school students are still not on track to graduate, but he believes if they had not cut the number of end of course exams, half of Texas high school students would not be on track to graduate. However, after three years with the STAR exam, we've seen very little improvement in the results. With previous state tests, students made drastic gains after the first year it rolled out. This weekend, our political team will take a closer look at this debate. Join us Sunday morning at 8.30 for State of Texas In-Depth right here on KXAN. And think you can pass the STAR exam yourself? We have a pop quiz on our website, actual test questions from the STAR with the math exam, just check out this story at the homepage at kxan.com.